In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT, the AI software everybody's talking about, to prevent your recipients from entering incorrect information in your DocuSign forms and field. Without a way to guarantee the accuracy of the data you collect in your forms, errors can cause a ripple effect that will then affect the entire business. And so while DocuSign comes in with some built-in features that help validating emails, US postal codes, social security numbers, and sometimes dates, it's still quite limited. And so what happens when you want to validate a routing number or a foreign country's passport or postal code and EIN or even number ring? Well, technically it was always possible, but you had to use something called a custom validation pattern, which is basically a small line of code, but you still need to know how to code. And so that's where ChatGPT comes in. In this video, I'll show you how to generate the validation codes that can be added to DocuSign fields to guarantee the accuracy of the data collected. So let's get started. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm an ex DocuSign employee and founder of Solisat Consulting, where we help businesses with tons of paperwork automate operations so they can grow and serve more customers better, faster, with fewer resources using best in class business practices and tools. If you're interested in our help to grow your business, then you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a consultation with one of our automation consultants. And if you're new to DocuSign, I strongly suggest that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will help you understand how to get started with DocuSign the right way. Now let's take a look at this document we've got here. We want an American passport number, we want an EIN, a Canadian postal code, and a US bank routing number. So normally what you would have to do with DocuSign is to add a text field and then you're going to go to your validation rule. Now, there isn't a validation rule for American passport that doesn't exist. So what you would have to do is just hope that your signers are providing you with the right information from the first time. For the EIN, it's the same thing. The structure is two digits hyphen and then five digits or seven. I'll check in a second. But same thing here, there's no validation for EIN. If you force your signers to enter numbers only, then they couldn't, they won't be able to enter the hyphen in between the two components of the EIN. You can't do anything about it. Canadian uh, wrote Canadian, sorry, Canadian friends. Canadian postal code, same thing. You just can't do it because uh, DocuSign only has zip for America. And US bank routing number, same thing. We can technically say that, you know, if the routing number was nine digits, we could say we only want nine digits maximum and numbers only. Okay, I could just simply add eight characters in this thing and miss a digit and that will work. I mean, DocuSign won't stop me. So that's where we want this custom validation to validate those things. So let's just see now how to do that. So if you go to openai.com and register for a free account, you're gonna get access to ChatGPT. I'll trust that you know how to do that. So now we're just gonna go inside of ChatGPT directly and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to provide us with an American passport rejects. Super simple, give me a reject for an American passport. And there you go. It's going to give you the uh, code, which is just that. So it's even telling us what the rule is. Uh, so just copy this and then you go inside of your American passport field and you click on custom and here you place your rejects pattern. You can even insert a custom error message. I actually do not have an email, an American passport myself being a French citizen. However, I do have an EIN. So we are going to test the EIN. Now let's just do this thing here. So give me a rejects for an EIN in America does. So the EIN is made of two digits followed by a hyphen and seven more digits. I think I was right, but I'm gonna copy this code, place it here, and I'm going to my EIN, and then custom, and then I place my code here. I'm gonna do preview, and I'm gonna test that this code works. And okay, so the way that you test it is simply by trying to enter something in there, and it clearly tells us this is incorrect. The EIN for Solusign is this. 30 hyphen 126444. So technically if I paste this code in here, it should work. And it does because it doesn't tell me that it's invalid data. But if I add another digit, it's invalid. If I try to change, I don't know, this thing for a number, it's invalid as well. If I add it back, it's, it works. 
Now, let's see, can we do the same thing with Canadian postal code? Let's find out. Give me a rejects for Canadian postal codes. ChatGPT loves to talk and give us an explanation for everything, which can be kind of frustrating when you just want the code. I mean, who am I to complain? We're now getting access for free code without having to do anything. This is great. So uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to test that. So this is my Canadian postal code. Custom pattern. Okay. And let's try that. So if I do that, it's invalid. So if I do this, it is valid. And if I change this for a letter, it is valid. This is absolutely brilliant. And also, something that's important to note is that you can add an error message. And so I really like to do this. This has nothing to do with ChatGPT, but if you do want your signers to understand the error they're making, just make sure to tell them what's expected here. So let me just do it for the EIN, for example. And the format should be perfect and so then as your signer is signing in DocuSign as they try to enter something in there then it will tell them okay the format should be xx blah, blah, blah. you can come up with a better way of explaining this if you want but this is super handy I think now let's try a numbers range so give me a number range rejects between zero and 30. Okay, so let's try that. This is no longer a bank number. This is just numbers range. So validation, custom pattern and preview. So zero works, one works, two works. Does 30 work? Yes. 31? No. Okay, what about zero one? No. So what we need to do is to ask GPT to give us an updated code that allows a leading zero in front of a single digit number. Make the code work if a leading zero is included before single digit numbers. Let's try that code instead. Yes, it works. 31 still doesn't work, so that's great. What about if I do 0, 20? Doesn't work, this is perfect. So what do you think of this way of validating your docus and fields? Let me know in the comments down below. This really should be a game changer if you've been getting your DocuSign forms filled out incorrectly in the past and if you're using the tool as a data collection method more than just a signature uh, collection tool. And as always, if you want to help to scale and automate your business and your operations, use the link just down below to book a call with one of our automation consultants to find out more about how we can help you with automation. Our services include templates, databases, and integration development to help you automate always more of your workflow. I will see you in the next one. See ya. Ciao.